Fellas, happy Saturday to you. Well, sitting in here in the air conditioning, thought I'd do a little bench update, maybe a little stash update. I've got all these models sitting around I bought, and I want to put them up away, but I wanted to do a stash update before I did, so I got to do that so I can get them off my desk. Um, first little bench update, I was working on the Concord. As you saw in one of the previous ones, I got the tail painted. Uh, I'm not doing the regular um, British uh, Concord, British Airways. Uh, I'm doing the one from the movie uh, Airport 79. So I, oh, gotta grab here. I, uh, <clears throat> Airport 79, the Concord. So I printed out some decals this morning. I just got done spraying them with the tester's bonder. And so those words go right on the tail here above the Thing, and then another one here on the side and uh, then there's a few on this uh, sheet I'm going to use around the doorways and some warnings around the engines and things and, and then that one should be done uh, another thing I've been working on on days when I don't feel good or I sit out in the living room with the wife my son got me this uh, Gundam for Christmas and uh, I decided to take my time on him and uh, watched some videos and was going to make him right. Now I'm not near done, but uh, he started here and uh, I, well, put him in frame or um, I used the uh, hairspray technique on him. I don't know if you can see it, but I sprayed it with the red or the, you know, the rust color paint and then I sprayed it with hairspray and then I sprayed it with the green and then I just took the, you know, a little brush and some water and and uh, scraped off some of the corners there. So now I'm gonna I've been watching. I have the book from uh, Mike Rinaldi on on using oils and stuff to uh, to weather. So yeah, that's my next thing. I'll weather them up one of these days when I'm bored, sitting around. Maybe after my surgery. <clears throat> so those are the two things I'm working on on the old bench. Um, now let's do a quick stash update. Okay, I hit Hobby Lobby. Um, a couple of times after I saw you guys, and first time I went, they had nothing. I got one, one little, I'll show you, I got the Star Wars and I got one of these little airplanes. That was it. That's all they had. All the shelves were empty. So I thought, well, I missed that sale. So I went back a week later and they had a whole bunch more. So I, you know, scarfed a few. I got that one and I'll just go through them quick. I got the, this one for, these are all $7.49. Oh, I also got a uh, little Porsche, what is that, number 914, the little one. I have it at work, just something to mess with while I'm at lunch. Uh, I got this one, 749. I already had this one, but you know, for 7 bucks, there's no way I wasn't going to scarf it. Um, these two were only 5 and uh, pretty cool. They're already uh, already painted and everything, so just weather them a little bit and they're ready to go. I thought that was, those were pretty neat little planes for 5 bucks. One the first time, and one the second time I went back, and then I got the tie striker here for nine bucks. So I have I only have a couple of the 172 scale. I've been buying the 144, so they all match. But I do have a couple 172 of the uh, loose ship and stuff. So um, well, I am ill prepared. Where's my other ones? I will be right back. <clears throat> okay, second one, next ones. These aren't Hobby, Hobby Lobby. Uh, I got the uh, Gypsy Avenger from the. Uh, uh, oh, can't think of the name of the movie. Uh, Pacific Rim. That's it. So I'll put some lights in there and, and, and do him up. And the boys really like him. You know, I'll probably end up giving him to one of my sons or something. My wife's really into the show Baba Black Sheep. Um, or Black Sheep Squadron. Uh, with the. Robert Conrad and uh, Happy Boynton and so I thought oh well, I'm gonna go look and see if I can find his plane and so I found uh, the first one I bought was just his Corsair it was a Tamiya so I figured it was a pretty good kit and uh, I wanted the uh, I wanted this to go with it and let's see is this the, is this the one zero yeah I wanted a zero to go with it but then I got to reading and uh, Pappy Boynton is the only one on that show that's real. Every other character is made up. 
and uh, he was actual real person and fighter and so I found his ship from Ravel so it has all his markings and you know stuff so I went ahead and grabbed that one too so when I make up the Tamiya one I can use the uh, use the decals and stuff from this one and I'm maybe make this one up plain like one of his friends you know have them side by side or something and uh, then I read that of course they didn't use a zero when they made the show they used a Texan so I went ahead and got the Texan and then I'll use the zero decals from the zero and put on here and uh, of course I can print my own decals so maybe I'll just copy that set and print out another one and I can have two zeros and two I don't know make a diorama you never know I got a lot of ideas I just don't ever do them <laughs> I think I like collecting <laughs> uh, I got me another Batmobile I uh, didn't have this one um, after I saw Kenny Mays all his Batmobiles I went oh my goodness I'm not good enough with Keaton Mobile I got to get them all so I've got the 66 Batmobile which I had never bought because I have a die cast up there so that's on its way it should be here on Tuesday along with the tumbler and then I should have all the Batmobiles okay next I got the new 144 scale Millennium Falcon, the Solo, uh, Lando one from the new movie, Solo. And uh, I have um, the other one, the regular Han Solos uh, from Bandai. And this box was so much bigger, I thought the kit was bigger, but it's not. When you take them out and put them together, they're exactly the same size. Okay, a couple more. We got these from from uh, Spotlight, whoop, oh, I'm messing this up big time, I got these two from Spotlight Hobbies, Just, I know I buy movie kits, but I didn't have any vans, and uh, they were on sale for 17 bucks, so I, I scarfed two vans, and then uh, Hobby Link, I bought a lot of models from Hobby Link, just because they're they take forever to get to you, but they, they do seem to be cheaper and their shipping is really reasonable usually. So I can wait a week. Not like I don't have something else to work on, is that the truth? So I got the new uh, Space 1999 Hawk. Had to have that. Still haven't got that big 22 inch Eagle. I need to get that one one of these days. Uh, I got the new Defiant, 1 1000 scale. I have all the 1 1000 scale now, I think. Boy, I wish they'd do a Enterprise E or a D in the 1000 scale. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, I got the airplane from the Rocketeer. <coughs> the GB. Um, I got, uh, what's his name? Uh, Tony Stark's Audi R8 Spider. I don't know, not exact, but paint it white and pretend. Maybe get a little Iron Man figure to put in him or something. And then I got this one for the uh, Back to the Future. I have all the Back to the Future uh, cars. And this one is, uh, it's not the exact year, it's a 48, uh, if I remember online it was, his was a 46, but they look so much alike that when I paint this black and set it by the, set it by the, uh, DeLorean, you know, nobody's gonna know the difference in my world. So, anyway, well, lots of ideas for cars together and dioramas and planes together, but oh my gosh, executing them take the rest of my life. <laughs> Which I hope is a, a while yet. Amen? Amen. Alright guys, that'll do it for the for this video. We're up to eight, eight or nine minutes now, so I've bored you long enough. Um, oh, 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 one more thing. I've got uh, Vince's card. Vince Weston's shop card. Got it this morning. Uh, sent yours out uh, two days ago, Vince. So you ought to have it, I think it was two days ago, or was it yesterday morning? Might have been yesterday morning. Anyway, you ought to have a Monday. But thank you, buddy. When I first started on YouTube uh, uh, a couple years ago now, two, two, three, I can't believe how long it's been. But anyway, I uh, I did my first video, and Vince got on and did a shout-out for me. He was the first one and uh, did a shout-out so I could get more subscribers. Uh, thank you very much for that, my friend. He even mentions it here in the nice note he wrote in the back. And uh, I think I mentioned it on his note, too. I said... Uh, Thank you. I remember you were the first one to give me a shout out. So, okay, I'm done here. Ten minutes is plenty long enough. Thank you guys for listening to me and uh, putting up with me. And God bless you all and make it so.